Hey guys, it's your pal Sean. Today I'm going to bring you a new series I'm going to be working on for quite a while. It's just going to be Kingdom Hearts theories and predictions. I've been thinking about doing this for a while, but I haven't had the material and all that. And I finally decided I have enough material to start off my series, so I'm going to begin with what's been currently going on. And that is, is Ventus and the Dandelions? Why is Sora and company mentioned in the secret ending? And what's with the datascape being connected to the Tome of Prophecies? In one of the new anniversary drawings, Namor put Ventus in the card with Ephemera and Scold, and he also confirmed that in the three year anniversary, he was put there intentionally. Now, a lot of people are saying that Ventus is in the, was in the Dandelions, or is in the Van Dandelions. And the biggest thing is, well, how did he not age through that time and from now? Because apparently the Keyblade Wall, the Frost Wall, was about 100 years ago. So he'd had to be really old, but he maintains his young self. It's still very unclear, but a lot could happen in the game. For example, he could have been in a stasis for a while. And it just kind of makes sense. I mean, Xehanort says he just found him. And it would kind of make more sense if he was in the Dandelions and there's some type of connection there. Today I'm going to talk more about how Maleficent has the Tome of Prophecies, or is about to get the Tome of Prophecies, while inside the Datascape. In Recoded, there's a secret scene where Maleficent tells Pete that there's similarities between the Journal and the Book of Prophecies. And they really are similar, besides the difference that the Tome of Prophecies creates worlds from the future, and the Datascape creates worlds from the past that, that are connected to Sora. Now what does this mean, and why does Maleficent want to get back into the Datascape? Because there is a scene in Dream Drop Distance where Maleficent's trying to get back in the Datascape. Well, she now knows that there is a similarity between the Book of Prophecies and the Datascape. And even though everything that happened in the Datascape doesn't actually happen, there, are, there is some knowledge within that book that could be useful. This knowledge is what I believe is the Tome of Prophecies. Now you're probably wondering, how could you get the Tome of Prophecies from the Datascape? Well, let's take a deeper look at this scene Who are you? Oh. It's like when I met Nikki. I don't know you, but you're familiar. Nice to meet you, Sora. I am Nomine. You may not know who it is I am, but I know things about you. Uh, so what exactly is going on here? Sora? Maybe I can explain. There was a time when you lost every one of your memories. But everything turned out to be okay because Nomine helped you through it. Wow, you really did that for me, Nomine? You deserve a big thanks. No, I don't. I put your memories back together. That part is true. But it was also me. I was the one who took them apart in the first place. Huh? Not only that, the reason all of the bugs appeared in Jiminy's journal, that was me. What? Oh, tell us what you mean. It all began with these memories that were sleeping way down deep, deep in Sora's heart. These are my memories? Actually, no, they're not yours. They belong to people who are connected to you. Huh? Isn't it weird for somebody else's memories to be inside me? Yes. Usually it's impossible. When I first found them while repairing your memory, I thought I had made some sort of mistake. But then, after searching for answers, 
All the evidence I found proved they belong in your heart. Sora will have to awaken these memories. But this is where they will sleep until that time comes. They are important. And yet, dangerous too. Nomine, how are they dangerous? These memories, all of them are too painful. Handled the wrong way, they could damage Sora's heart, even break it. That's why I needed for Sora to find a way to face that kind of hurt. So I left the message for all of you. Their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. That was you! You're the one who left us that message! When I unraveled Sora and the others' memories, it also erased the words in Jiminy's journal. That book was filled with pages and pages of memories from your first adventure. It shows how deeply the journal and Sora are connected. When I took Sora's memories apart, they stayed in his heart. It may have looked like they were gone, but they were there the whole time. Even after the text disappeared from the journal, the memories remained. That's why you were able to render them as data. Yeah, but the data we got was a mess. And then all those bugs appeared. Jiminy never wrote about any bugs. That was... Me too. When I added these memories to the journal, I also added all this hurt. I thought that maybe if you fought the bugs that sprang from these memories, you might learn to face the hurt in the memories themselves. So that's what it was. I didn't realize you had to go through so much trouble to get us to investigate this hurt, Nomine. I'm sorry. I wish I could have told you this in person. But the real me is gone. She doesn't exist now. Uh, guys? You kinda lost me a few minutes ago. <laughs> you don't have to understand it. You have already learned how to face the hurt, Sora. I did? You most certainly did. At times, the pain can be wiped away. But there's also a pain that always stays with you. There's only one way to deal with that. You face it head on, and then you accept it. And if it happens that the hurt is too great for you to bear it alone, well then you turn to a friend close to your heart. Oh. It'll bring us closer together. The hurt will only make us stronger. <laughs> I'm willing to try. I'm ready to face all those memories that you found. It might have to be painful, but I can take it. Sora! Wait. You're not in this alone. Always remember, I'm here too. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Just touch this. Don't be afraid. You'll feel all of the memories that are locked inside flow right into your hearts. Uh-huh. These are hidden truths. Sora has been keeping them locked away, deep inside of him. Remember, 
These memories you're feeling, they don't belong to him. Namine, that's you. Who's the other girl? She feels so familiar. And something happened. Something terrible, didn't it? They're waiting for Sora. He's the only one who can put an end to their hurt. Diz told me he hid something inside you during the year you were asleep. I asked him what, and all he would say was that he was clearing his conscience. Sora must be the key to saving the people you saw. And the ones you're about to see. It can't be! Maybe you know how much they're hurting. These three were keys too. They were connected to the Keyblade's truth. And... They're still connected, Sora. Somewhere way down deep inside of you. Funny. I feel as though... I've met them. Yes. Two of them, you have met. As for the third, I never realized it, but... You and he share a very special connection. Yeah. Namine! You said Sora has to call these memories to the surface! Is it time? I can't say for sure. But I do know. A day will come when they must rise from their sleep. And then, the only one who can save them will be Sora. The bond they all share? That's going to be the key, right? Don't worry, Namine. I'll make sure I pass this on to Sora. You know, the one in the outside world. Mm. Please do. Okay. <laughs> well. Just a second. Huh? Our promise. Your promise to the me I don't know. You kept it, right? I may be gone, but my promises to him are forever. And anyway, I owe this much. For all the... all those people that I hurt. So what happens to you? The one that's right here? I'm really just data made to pass along a message. I shouldn't... exist right now in this journal at all. And now the record of me will disappear. But when you pass my message on to the other Sora, just remember to tell him the things that you've seen and that you've felt. If you do that, then we'll be at rest, her and me too. Along with everybody connected to Sora. Namine, you got it. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm? I almost forgot. I have a message for you too. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there is a particular scene where Sora is torn to Namine, and she explains all this heart that's within him, but doesn't actually belong to him. Initially, you believe that this is from Roxas, and some of it is from Roxas and Scion, but then Namine also reveals to Sora, Aqua, Terra, and Ventus. If you don't know. Sora has a piece of Ventus' heart from way back from Birth by Sleep when Xehanort extracted the darkness from Ventus' heart and he became fractured. I believe that goes on without saying that the Datascape also has Ventus' memories. So, if Ventus was part of the Dandelions, maybe he could have seen the Tome of Prophecies, and if that's true, then Maleficent could have used the Datascape to go through Ventus' memories to find the Tome of Prophecies. 
I think one of the questions would be, would Maleficent actually be able to use a Datascape version of the Tome of Prophecies, or would she be able to just read out of it, which is still useful information? I've seen a lot of theories that say maybe Maleficent learned how to time travel. I think that's also doubtful, because one of the rules of time traveling is you have to give up your physical body. But, you have seen between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, she does revive herself because the three fairies remember her name. So maybe something like that could happen. I just think it'd be a lot more complicated if they don't explain how Maleficent time traveled without giving up a whole body or her physical form. So I think time travel is out of the question with this one. I think the reason why they did the whole you have to give up your physical form is so that they could only really use time travel in Dream Drop Distance. They'd make it like more difficult to time travel because without that rule, really anyone could time travel. It'd be a lot more simple. Now there are a couple of things that will plot holes in this theory. One of the major ones being, and the one that everyone's trying to figure out, is if Ventus was on the Dandelions, how is he not a hundred years older than what he actually is since the Keyblade War was a very long time ago. But again, I've like I've said, he could have been in a stasis. We don't know if it's possible to be in a stasis where you don't age. He could have also been in a dreaming world because it's stated in Dream Drop Distance that some sleeping worlds have different time time physics. Another really big thing that I thought about is how does Maleficent know that Ventus is from the Dandelions? I mean, she wouldn't know to go to the Datascape inside Ventus's memories. She would have to initially know that Ventus is within Sora and that Ventus is from the Dandelions, but you really don't know what villains are capable of, especially since she had contact with Terra, there could have been some type of other secret scene that we're not going to see until it's explained that's how she knew. I mean, anything really is possible with this game. There's so many things that are thrown at us. There, there are so many things that are thrown at us. It, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but it's part of the reasons why people like me love this game so that's my small theory for today I really do think that it's possible that Maleficent might be able to get the Prosphy it also might be worth mentioning that this secret ending with Maleficent and the player actually being alive is it possible that the player is inside the datascape as well so in summary, I think it is possible that Maleficent is in the Datascape getting the Tome of Prophecies from Ventus's memories if he is truly in the from the Dandelions. I think it would be very interesting and also this point that the player we know isn't actually maybe not even alive but just in the Datascape, just data, which would make a little more sense. I think it would get really confusing if they add a character that was your character. So I think it would also bring it back to the fact that this character is no longer alive. Maybe they did live after the Keyblade while they joined the Dandelions, but they're no longer alive at this point in time. I don't know. We'll find out when... Maybe we'll get some information when 2. Out comes out, like a secret ending, but I feel like we'll definitely know in Kingdom Hearts 3, unless if Nemo decides to throw more curveballs. Also, I would like to point out, why does Mickey look so high in this scene? He looks so high. He... I mean, oh my god, he definitely just smoked up right before this scene. I hope you enjoyed this video, I will be making another one soon enough. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe, like, and comment to me. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Do you think this theory could hold water? Do you think it's just a bunch of bullshit? What do you think is going to happen with this whole thing going on with Nomura saying Ventus is connected to Unchained, although that's ending at least. Have a good one, guys.